Hey, what's going on guys? It's Odyssey Asshole here and I'm back with another video. Uh, this time we're actually going to get into one of my passions, which is wrestling. More specifically, we're going to be talking about WWE, what's been happening lately with all the controversies and all the pros and cons that have been happening. Not to mention, uh, with Money in the Bank only four days away, uh, we're going to be talking about the Money in the Bank pre preview a pay-per-view, sorry. Can we talk about the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? And I'm going to be giving my own my own pre predictions about what I think is going to happen. And yeah, so let's get straight into it, shall we? All right, so WWE. I think we can all agree. Uh, lately, it has not been uh, up to scratch. There have been like a couple of highlights here and there, but lately it's been dropping the ball. Uh, I personally think this is because, um, like a lot of people are angry with WWE, let's, let's be honest. A lot of people are angry with WWE because they're going back once again to Saudi Arabia. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, so yeah, that's one reason why they're angry with WWE. Second reason why is I think that uh, WWE has been misusing a lot of their talent lately. Uh, case in point, uh, the revival. Uh, revival have been getting a very rough end of the stick lately. Uh, same with guys like Luke Harper and a few others. But yeah, uh, uh, and I think the main part of the reason why people are turning is because it's just lazy writing. Lazy, lazy writing. Like, honestly, it's the... Like, it, I know WWE doesn't, have, WWE doesn't have any competition lately, but come on, guys. Surely you can come up with some better stuff than what you guys have been coming up with lately. Um, but let's talk about some highlights. Uh, the fact that we're getting a WrestleMania match... Or WrestleMania worthy match at Money in the Bank, that's a highlight. And of course, I'm talking about AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. I'll get into who I think is going to win later. Uh, and Kofi versus Kevin Owens, that's been a great feud. Uh, I've liked the build up to it. McMahon versus Miz, that build up's been very personal. I like that. I've missed that from my WWE TV. Um, Becky. Lynch, she has been going upwards, and I'm just going to say a little pet peeve that I've got. People wonder why the WWE does not listen to fans when it comes to direction that they should go in or anything else. It's because of the fact that because of the fact that when we get someone that we like we, we will instantly someone will not myself personally but a lot of people will instantly say this person needs to get the belt on them this person needs to be pushed hard and everything else and then when that person does get pushed and does get uh, everything that we uh, that the fans demand we turn on them like that we did the same, we did the same, and everyone's going to be, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's bullshit, that's not true at all. Uh, let me go over the names for you. Hulk Hogan, The Rock, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, friggin' Undertaker. <laughs> I can keep, I can keep going, guys. Becky Lynch is just a, Becky Lynch is just another one in the many long list of people that have been said, you know what, let's give this person a push. They need to be pushed. And then as soon as they do get pushed, well, they get turned on very quickly. But yeah, I'm look, looking forward to Be Becky's two matches. Uh... The one with Lacey Evans, uh, yeah, well, like I said, I'll get into that later. But let's talk about the biggest highlight of Raw. Bray Wyatt. 
this guy has gone from obscurity to being the hottest thing on Raw and SmackDown. Or nearly, nearly, I'd I'd say second, because Kofi Mania is running wild, Seth Rollins is still burning it down. But yeah, let's say Bray Wyatt's the most talked about thing right now, especially after this past week, where the secret was revealed... And we got to see creepy ass Bray Wyatt, which is what I've been saying for weeks. We were gonna see, like everyone was like, "Oh my God, they've turned Bray Wyatt into friggin' Mr. Peabody or friggin' uh, Mr. Rogers and shit." It's like, come on, man, learn to read between the lines of what you're watching. And then, yeah, and. Only the only other negative I've got is what the hell are you guys doing with Braun Strowman? Like this is nothing against Sami Zayn, but why did you replace Braun Strowman with Sami Zayn in the Money in the Bank match? I just I don't get it. Like, I, Sami's only just come back from a from an injury after having what was it six to eight months off with an injury. And you're gonna put him in a ladder match. This is, I, I I get it. This is the first major test you want to give Sammy, but damn man, you're, t- you're taking a huge gamble with the, with the man's career. I mean, it's already bad enough that there's rumors are going around that Sheamus is being forced into retirement. <sighs> That's it. Now. For some of the negatives with WWE, yes, I agree with everybody. They are misusing a lot of talent. I already mentioned one with Bray, uh, with um, Braun Strowman. The revivals definitely getting misused. The Usi hot thing that frustrated me a little bit. I would have personally liked to see the Usi hot come into effect during the match, and at least that way, then Gallows and Anderson get a win with like Magic Killer off the bat, and they get a win. Gallus and Anderson, another team that's getting misused. Uh, friggin' Luke Harper, who's being forced to sit on the bench for friggin' six months, because six months got added to his contract because he couldn't, because he was injured, and now he's being forced to sit on the sideline for six more months, even though he's perfectly healthy. So they're just going to have him do house shows and shit. But they're not going to put him on TV because Vince has nothing for him. What a friggin' joke. What a joke that is. Uh, and a lot of people have been talking about AWE, AEW. Sorry, I reckon AEW will go well. Uh, I'm personally looking forward to Double or Nothing. Sorry guys, I just got something in my eye. Yeah, I'm personally looking forward to Double or Nothing. I'm um, looking forward to Cody versus uh, Dustin. I'm looking forward to Omega versus Jericho again. Uh, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to this card all the way around. So we'll see what happens. But do I think AEW is the kick up the ass WWE needs? You're damn right. And I think Vince knows it too. I think that's why Vince really needs to start focusing on his product. Because if not then I'm in agreement with everyone else. Vince, you need to step down. You're clearly living back in the 90s and like early 2000s. We're in 2019. The fan base has changed. Triple H, Paul Avec knows this. Hence the reason why NXT has been such a great hit with everybody because he's got a mind for the current business and he knows what the fans want. So, maybe it is time for Vince to step down. I don't want Vince to step down as chairman. I just want Vince to step down as the person in charge of, like, final wrestling decisions. By all means, stick to your business. Like, keep doing your business decisions, Vince. That's cool. But, yeah, don't... But, yeah, as far as wrestling decisions go, yeah, no. It's time to... Time to say no, no, no more. Okay, now, 
Uh, speaking of Bray, and speaking about Bray Wyatt before, have a look at this, would you? That is a scary looking dude. That was probably the biggest highlight for Raw this week for me, was seeing finally the demented secret of Bray Wyatt come out, saying that he's controlling the evil within, and he knows how to harness it now. I look forward to seeing this. I think we're actually going to see him at Money in the Bank. I can't wait. We're going to... But we'll wait and see what happens. Speaking of the Money in the Bank, let's get straight into that. Okay, so we've got a lot of matches. Let's start off with the basics. But actually, first of all, can we just look at this post? Can we look at this poster, please? Like, have a look at it. And you're telling me that Becky Lynch doesn't look doesn't look good with those two championship belts? Please. Um, but yeah, we'll get straight into it. Uh, first match I reckon that's definitely going to be on the kickoff show will be Tony Nese versus uh, Tony Nese versus Arya Divari. Uh, I reckon Tony Nese is going to retain with this one. Like, I'm just going to get straight into results, guys, because this match doesn't uh, hasn't caught my attention. Uh, Usos versus the newly crowned uh, tag team champions of Daniel Bryan and Rowan. Uh, I, this match makes no friggin' sense to me at all. If you had done, like, they hinted last week that they were going to do Rowan and Rowan and Bryan versus Heavy Machinery. I would have preferred to see that. Because Otis and Tucker put on awesome matches with people that they have tag team matches with. So, I don't get it, but... Anyways, unless they're holding off to do the heavy machinery stuff till stomping ground, but once again, just doesn't make sense to have a raw tag team going after the SmackDown championships because no one's going to believe that they're going to win because if they do win, then you're basically making them permanent wild cards for SmackDown so they can be on Raw and SmackDown. So that makes no sense. It's stupid. Uh, then we've got the US Championship match. Sorry, guys, I'm going like from least from least favorite to top favorites here. Um, so we've got Rey Mysterio versus Samoa Joe for the US title. This is where I think we're going to see Bray Wyatt. So I reckon Joe's going to win the match because I don't think they're going to turn Dominic on Bray so quickly. Uh, and Joe's. I don't think Joe's going to lose the title to Ray. So I think after the match, Bray Wyatt's going to come out with his new scary face mask and everything and just do what he does best. Destroy everybody. And he's going to either hurt one or heal one. You never know. But yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, what else, What's the next match that I've got here? That's like from least my ne next least favorite one uh, might be an unpopular opinion with people, but my next least favorite is Roman vs Elias. Uh, now I'm personally looking forward to this because I would like to see Elias get his push. And actually, no, I correct myself. Elias needs to win this match. Reason being, because one, it gives Elias a great push heading towards the future. And two, if you have Roman win, he's going to lose the positive reactions that he's been getting in the past few weeks and the past month or so since he's returned from uh, his battle with <clears throat> leukemia. Because, yeah, if he wins, then fans are just going to be like, oh, well, he's 100% healthy now, so they're just making Roman win everything again. But, yeah, we'll wait and see. Uh, next match uh, will is the uh, women's Money in the Bank match. Um, I, I think, I personally think Bailey's going to win this one. Uh, reason being is because uh, I reckon that she's going to walk out of Money in the Bank as the SmackDown Women's Champion. I honestly believe that. I think she will walk out as SmackDown Women's Champion into the night. And I'll explain why 
now because my next um, match of least favourite is <clears throat> Becky versus Charlotte Flair. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking me, but why is this one of your least favourites, like, compared to the others that haven't been mentioned yet? Because I've seen it. I've seen this match plenty of times, uh, and don't get me wrong, both women are very talented and work well together. But I just think that they are got to do something to spice this match up, hence the reason why I think that Bailey's going to cash in and Bailey's gonna uh, pin one of, uh, probably pin Charlotte for revenge. So Charlotte goes to the back of the line, and Becky gets her bloody rematch at Stomping Grounds. But yeah, um, I reckon that's what's gonna happen. Uh, and then we've got um, the next one, which was actually uh, another one involving Becky. Uh, Becky versus Lacey Evans. Uh, I think this match will... I reckon this is, match is going to be very good. Uh, Lacey Evans has proven down in NXT she can put on a good match with people. And Becky's proven that she is a good ring worker herself. Uh, I definitely think Becky's walking out with the Raw Women's Championship because they're not going to put the rocket ship on uh, uh, Lacey Evans this quickly, especially seeing as though her last two matches have only been against local competitors. So, yeah, and plus momentum rule, guys. Momentum rule. Becky got put through the table uh, this past week, so she's got to win one of them. <clears throat> uh, then the next match we've got is the uh, men's Money in the Bank match. Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, we've got... Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre and Ricochet representing Raw and Finn Balor, Andrade, Ali and Randy Orton representing SmackDown. Now, this one's a very hard one for me to pick. Uh, I don't think Orton's winning it. Baron's definitely not winning it, even though he's had some nice little wins on his European tour. Uh, Ali, I think it's too soon for him. I'd like to see him go for the IC title. But I think Finn's not winning it because I think he's going to get uh, screwed over by Alistair Black. Because Alistair's been coming up with these promos lately of absolving people of their sins and everything. And I think he'll personally think that Finn's got a lot of sins due to his demon persona and everything. Uh, Randy... Uh, wait, I already said Randy. Randy doesn't need it. Um... Uh, Ali, it's too soon. Sammy, he's only just come off um, injury, so I don't think they're going to put the money in the bank on him. So that leaves two people. It leaves Andrade, and it leaves Drew McIntyre. Now, I think... Uh, I personally think that Drew's going to win it, because Drew's been doing such great work. He's definitely a championship-looking material, and he's someone I believe can lead Raw... To, um, into the next couple of years. Uh, and I reckon him and Seth will tear the houses down with their rivalry. Um, but if they do decide to finally pull the trigger on Andrade, because the rumours mill going around is uh, Fox is looking for a big Latino star, uh, and Andrade fits the bill. So if Andrade wins the Money in the Bank match, you know for a fact that he's, the trigger's been pulled, and he's going to be the next top star of SmackDown. So Kofi better watch his back. Or Kevin Owens, whoever wins. Uh, which brings me to my next match. Kofi Kingston versus... Kofi Kingston versus... Uh, Kevin Owens, sorry. Uh, I've liked this match. The uh, build-up's been excellent. Uh, been a lot. It's been a very brutal build-up. Uh, Kevin Owens' promos have sold this match for me. Kofi Kingston's passionate promos have sold this match for me. Uh, now, I think Kofi's going to retain. But do I think that the New Day, or Xavier Woods, I should say, is going to turn on Kofi? Um, I have no idea. 
I don't know if they'll pull that trigger yet until Big E comes back, but we'll wait and see. But yeah, I think Kofi's going to retain on this one. Um, then we come to my second favourite match of the night, which is going to be Miz versus Shane McMahon. And everyone's like, how can you put Miz and Shane over Kofi and Kevin Owens as your favourite? Because this is what WWE is missing. This level of personal with a rivalry. Like, this has gotten so personal that I personally can't wait to watch it. Because I just want to see Miz beat the piss out of Shane. Shane's actually gotten up to the level of his dad in the boss that you just want to smack in the face. Um... And then we come to what I'm pretty sure is everybody's favourite match of the night, which is going to be AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. This is a WrestleMania main event worthy match, and we're getting it on Money in the Bank. Can't complain there. Uh, who wins? The fans. We win. Uh, I honestly don't know who to pick here, because... Either one, no one's going to be upset if he wins. Like AJ Styles, he'll be a great heel champion. And um, Seth Rollins, well, yeah. Now, do I think AJ might win due to uh, the club um, help? With some club help? Possibly. I don't know. Um... But yeah, I, I'm going to just take a vote and say that yeah, Seth Rollins will win this. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I think this is going to be a five-star match, but yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think about the state of WWE? What do you think about AEW coming into the picture? Uh, what do you think about Bray Wyatt's new look? Uh, and what do you think about everything else that I've talked about here? And give me your own predictions, guys for uh, Money in the Bank. Who do you think is going to win? What do you think is going to go down? And, yeah. And actually, because we, we do this on my uh, podcast on the North American Wrestling Connection that I do with a lot of other very talented people. Uh, we do a little competition. And I'm going to do this here with you guys. Okay? So, the person that can predict the most correct stuff I'm. Mm, what can I do for you guys? I'm gonna promote. I'm gonna promote you. I'm gonna promote you guys uh, to everyone. Uh, to everyone that becomes a new subscriber and everything else, I'll promote you guys to them and try and help you guys get to um, your goals of what you want to reach with uh, with YouTube. Okay. But yeah, so you guys just let me know. All right. Or actually. Mm. And I'll name you guys. I'll name you guys the uh, uh, the WWE Ace Hole Champions, <laughs> and that's a that's a title that you get to keep to the next pay per view, to which uh, people have to try and beat you in predictions again. So yeah, we'll keep up with that. Now, uh, once as I stated earlier, uh, if you want to catch more of my uh, wrestling thoughts and predictions, uh, come follow us at the North American Wrestling Connection, uh, so NAWC for short. You can find that on Google or on your Facebook page where we uh, talk all things Raw, SmackDown, TNA, New Japan, AEW, the works, uh, and talk about all the uh, controversial stuff that uh, gets brought up each week. Uh, and don't forget guys to please hit that like button if you watch the video hit that like button it's not hard to miss a five year old can see it see that little thumbs up button that's right down there hit it hit the like button and then you see that nice little red square red, little rec rectangle I should say that says subscribe if you guys, if you guys can please hit that subscribe button Hit that bell next to it so you can see all of my future content and help me get to 100 subs. I am 15 away, guys. I'm 15 subs away from my first 100 subscribers. 
thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far. I appreciate you all. I try my best to entertain you guys as much as I can. I'm going to try and get a bit more wacky, actually, during my next few my next load of content. So, yeah. Well, let's go. So, to all my fellow ace holes that have already joined, thank you so much. To all my future ace holes that are going to join the ace hole army, then please hit that subscribe button. But until next time, peace out, and I'll catch you all next time.